Okay, I want to take a section and switch gears a little bit. And so here's one area of science to help us uh, explore this particular area. And I'm going to call it uh, the geological column. What a beautiful picture that is. What a, what a great time it would be to be able to see the Grand Canyon, that open expanse. What caused the Grand Canyon? Well, that's a good question. We see all those layers there. And uh, geologists tend to organize those layers into different uh, 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 labels and so forth. Well, it's called the geological column. Do you know the Grand Canyon goes down thousands of feet? That's a lot of rock. What is the geological column? Well, in theory, if you dig down and dig down and dig down, you'll see uh, all of these fossils in the rock. And uh, supposedly, all these fossils have a nice little order to them. Okay? It, it, the story goes like this. You, you've heard it before. Life started in the ocean, and we've got animals, reptiles, and then uh, amphibians, then uh, mammals, reptiles, that is, and then uh, animals, and at the top there's me. You, 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 we've seen that story. We're familiar with that. Of course, this is the tree, okay, where these different kinds somehow created new separate kinds of organisms, and of course, man is just, you know, from the ape. Now, I don't mean to disparage that, but here's some problems. Uh, these systems, these layers, were defined by creationists. Um, not all of the miles are known, not all the rocks. 70% of the land and oceans have seven strata missing. Hundreds of locations have missing order. The layers are inverted, repeated, or inserted. Do y'all notice this? There's some problems with the rock layers. And by the way, if man started from an amoeba and became Adam, there should be all kinds of transitional forms in the rock layer. A lot of us already are aware of this. There are no transitional forms in the rock layers. Now, there's a lot of conjecture. All right, and you may or may not know uh, this gentleman. His name is uh, James Hutton. He is the man that made known this idea of long periods of time creating all of these layers of rock. As a matter of fact, he got that idea very close to this part of Scotland. You could see the little layers here, and he was wondering what formed them. Anyway, I have a little um, video I want to show you. And this video helps us to see there's just not one way for, different, for a, a bunch of layers of rock to form. And I need to introduce this a little bit first. We've been by the side of the road where we've seen, um, we've seen these layers of rock. And, and, and we know that they had to have been formed in some type of manner. And we have been told that these layers of rock have been formed one on top of the other. And so if that is true, and it took a long time for these layers to form, then that whole geological column would represent a very long period of time. Well, <clears throat> there's been some experiments in sedimentology, and I want to point this, out, this example out to you. Okay, now I just played that. Now I'm going to explain it. If you notice over here, this rock, this, this layer of soil is, is uh, being deposited as it goes from left to right. Watch that again. This is a flume. Water is flowing this way. Y'all, can you see the little sediment being formed this way? What scientists have found out that is that if you have water flowing and you have sediment in water, Rock layers don't form one on top of each other. Rock layers form in a directed path, which you can see this way. Now, I just showed you part of that for sake of illustration tonight. You could uh, go to that website and find out some more. But here's what I want to show you. Because they have demonstrated that is one way for the sediments to form, and after you look at them, they look like they're going this way, but really, 
they were formed going in a direction. If this series of layers of rock were formed in that same way, what fossils are older? Is this fossil older or younger than that fossil up there? What about this fossil? If this fossil was caught in the sediment, it is actually, what? Younger than the fossil up there to the left because the layers were formed in that particular sequence. Now, if we had time and we went through all of the science on that, would that be a devastating blow to the idea of long geological time? Well, that's just one area of science. Um, by the way, this is a series of rocks that were formed in 1968 in Colorado. Well, I don't want to bore you with all the science per se, but science is important. And here's some other areas that help us to see the value of studying science. And so the question is simply this. Do these things from science corroborate the evolutionary model, or do these corroborate the creation model? That's a good question. And that's what we're asking our students to study when they are going through school. And uh, I think that's a reasonable approach. Okay. I want to take